Come on, we live in a superhero society. Come on, we live in a superhero society. Jeez, and oh my god, they didn't start with that. Don't you think? Oh, wow, yeah. right into it. Gotta admit, I was scared stiff when that Nomu knocked him down, though. That moment of the fist coming out through the flames is hard to top. It was spectacular. Well, if we're gonna do a recap, <laughs> I'll watch this again. No problem. I can barely even move my body at this point. I'm just propelling myself forward. That's another metaphor there. I think for the purposes of this fight and endeavor, and I guess also, just more generally speaking, quirks can be a stand-in for one's natural disposition or abilities or character or qualities that are, I guess, intrinsic to who we are. And so there are positive elements of those things and there are negative elements of those things and there are strengths and weaknesses of those things. And the journey for the characters, as it is in life, is sort of to get a handle on it, to figure out, I guess, first, like, who they are and what they want to be consciously, and then how to align their natural inclinations with those things, and then also how to take those things to, to a certain level or keep their weaknesses within a certain bounds. And that's why you get ideas like heroism is not your quirk, right? Because heroism is not just things we're, we're born with, right? You have to sort of earn it. And why a quirk can be a wonderful thing but also can be a danger to oneself and others, as is very, very evidently the case with Endeavor because it's it's tied to his personality. But one of the things I love about this fight is Endeavor is sort of stripped of everything. Even before this fight, he's sort of like on this collapse of, of self-identity. And on top of that, he's injured to the brink of death. But in that moment, he's able to at least find something of himself that is still there and still powerful and like correctly channel it towards a good purpose. And I think there's some beauty in that. You know, the way I like to think about it is there, there are no good or bad traits necessarily. There are just these things that arise in us. And I think the important thing is their application. So like for me, there have been all sorts of, let's call them more negative emotions that have really come through for me in critical moments like pride you know like in my darkest moments pride is something that helps me get out of it even things like jealousy even jealousy can be a really powerful motivator if i put it towards doing something productive myself rather than using it as a tool of something hateful spite lust anger all these things are are really powerful forces. I think the key is just putting them behind you, having them be a vehicle that, that pushes you forward rather than being like a headwind or something that drives me into action that is not in my or other's best interest or is damaging. And literally in this scene, Endeavor is putting his like heat, his fire or whatever behind him, using it as a, as a fuel to propel him forward. And this is probably the best moment right here. This was amazing. The Talk fist. About guts. I literally and cheered. The way he stood proud when he won? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I want to replicate it too. That's why he's the number one hero now. They're gonna be talking about this for a while. Hey, Todoroki. How's Todoroki doing? How's Todoroki doing? Sounds like his condition isn't serious. Oh wow! Isn't serious. <laughs> Guess you could be All right. pretty proud of your pop, huh? Wow, look at Mineta being so here and not talking about girls for once. Right, the bell already rang, so. <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. It's time to stop playing around and be more serious. They literally could could not be more serious in their seats right now. Kicking your training up a notch, so be prepared. Kicking it up a notch, up a notch. In UA, I already thought we were at a maximum level, but. Emergency drill! Emergency drill! Hypothetical villains have infiltrated UA. This actually, I feel like, is key. It's gonna happen eventually, right? Maybe this season. Maybe this is foreshadowing. This world is a superhuman society. There it is. Eighty percent a little bit late, but you know it's coming. You know it's coming. We live in a superhero society. But I like this like montage with it. An overlapping story. That's cool. Hero, yeah. I like that they give Endeavor the nod in this intro. My friends and I are working hard toward a shared goal. Bakugo runs past Deku. Wonder if that's foreshadowing too. Running through these hallways, with a smile on my face, as we do at UA. We're training to become the world's greatest heroes. I wonder if this means Bakugo will be more active <laughs> in season five. <laughs> he was like in My remedial hero, classes. Academia. academia is still, still an issue. Still an issue. <gasps> Here we go. New intro. Seems like this is just an extension of the way the episode started. The intro is them like preparing for this training drill. This is a very like <laughs> slice of school life episode. Look who it is. What's his role, I wonder? He's really in the intro. And this is the guy we saw, yeah, 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 at the after credit scene of season four. Endeavor? Glad to see that Mirio's still there. All hands on deck, class 1A, like in the title screen. We need to understand the situation better. Reconnaissance squad? They're just flowing right will. into this exercise. Come a long way. Bird friends! Please look for damaged buildings. Look at the confidence. <laughs> Damn. I can help with that. <laughs> Momo Yaoyorozu. Hero name, Creating. Quark. Suggestive poses and also creation. We need an extinguishing squad to race to the scene. She pulled that out of her chest. That's amazing. A victim? 
It's our turn now, Grape Juice. We'll save them. I like that they have a rapport, a connection. Flashback to like the first couple of episodes, or first season at least. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, what's Got other plans? We're looking for villains. Leave the rescuing to the extras. The extras. They all got the role to play. I see you, Ayama, twinkling over there. Shoto Todoroki. Hero name, Shoto. Or Dramatic shots. And cold and hot. Motivated now. That was just a quick flash to Endeavor, but I love it. I mean, it's interesting how a different feeling comes off from Todoroki already in his quirk use and his motivation. Like, he's been motivated by his disdain for his father for a long time. For reasons I can't quite articulate, this feels like a freeing thing. It feels like baggage removed. You know, it's okay, maybe, to have Endeavor's powers. Going back to the whole quirks are your, your natural disposition. Very real thing there of, like, recognizing your parents' traits in yourself and then not always necessarily being a good thing, but in some ways I feel like that is the course to getting a handle on it, is acceptance. You can't deny where you came from, and I think there's some danger in like pretending those things don't exist. For me, there's something greater that can be found in just acceptance of what things are, and maybe even gratitude, even though that could be a stretch. I feel very drawn to this idea because my, my own father has a very strong personality. Like he's extremely willful, very outspoken, unbelievably stubborn, and uncompromising in his beliefs and ideas. And that was difficult to grow up with, but as an adult, now that I have taken some more responsibility for my own life and feel more autonomous in who I get to be, I can sort of see it with fresh eyes. And there's a level of strength in my father that I just don't see in other people. And I can identify some of those traits in me. And the beauty of it is I get to use them the way I want to use them. And so while I got to be careful, because I, I also have the ability to use those things in, in negative ways, my general feeling is just gratitude. Over there. <laughs> That's oh, Mirio. I was about to say, I better not be these like weird hired extras that make life difficult for everyone. Talk about rotten luck. Oh, <laughs> <I'm gonna die. laughs> I feel like there's nothing Mirio could, could tell me that would make me sad. Just his delivery. Gee, looks like we're all gonna die. <laughs> me too, Sugar Man. I'll help. Sugar Man. Our show. Fumi Kage Tokuyami. Hero name, Sukuyomi. Very confusing. Rikido Sato. Hero name, Sugar Man. Oh, his name is Sugar Man. I thought it was a nickname. It's turns that I just don't know their hero names, I guess. Mineta. Hero name, Grape Juice. Quirk. Quirk. Ultimate hero. <laughs> and weirding people out, both of those things. Hey, look at that. You saved me. Yay. Oh, <laughs> that reaction. Squad. Any update on the search for villains? I love how Mirio is just so authentically great. Another He's a villain. Explosion? The smoke looks denser than it was. Bakugo was right. We can't let the flame spread. This is a lot more intense than like their pool race. Yuga Aoyama, hero name can't stop. <laughs> I forgot his name is Can't Stop Twinkling. Twinkling. Can't stop. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. This is so great. This time I'll make sure to snuff it out. But when does Todoroki start using fire? I wonder. It can't be. Hey, hey, there are still villains. Oh, she's a villain. Do you guys remember me? I'm a villain today. Did you know that? How could we forget you, the beauty queen herself? I'm also a bad guy. <laughs> does he feel somewhat? Embarrassed by this, I wonder. What did he have for breakfast though? That's a that's a key question in this battle. I feel like everyone's staring. It's a lot of spotlight, yeah. I'll just pretend they're potatoes. Yeah, there are no heroes here. Only starches. I'm going home. That's it! <laughs> Kids like you must be punished. She's getting into it now. No way. Let's go help save her. Not so fast. It's our job to keep scouting. <laughs> the music is so high stakes, but <laughs> it just feels so low stakes because she's so sweet. Because I, I just like what the big three so much. I mean, villain? Yeah, exactly, exactly. To go home. <laughs> well, fair. Why are you still here? Villains are people too. Not to mention Mirio. He asked me to do what I <laughs> to become proper heroes as soon as possible. <laughs> that was great. Weren't there more of them? Where's that invisible girl? Oh. Oh, is he pay paying respect to Invisible Girl? Recognizing her threat? About time. She steps up. Toru Hagakure! Hero name, Invisible Girl! Quirk, Invisibility! Hey, there she is! Did she just refract light using her body? Is that what happened? What a what a huge day for Invisible Girl, playing a role! <laughs> she wasn't like a distraction this time. As if she could ever be distracting. Izuku Midoriya! Hero oh, we haven't gotten a deck yet? Quirk? All right, take it easy, Deku. <laughs> there you go. Why didn't you hit me? This training. Not what does through to the end can be this fatal. foreshadow? I wonder. Oh, really punishing him for his kindness there. It's a little dirty, though. He could have punched him. 
He might have punched him if he was a villain. Can you push the battery any harder? Punch it! I'm charging as fast as I can! Are they allowed to drive? <laughs> I mean, with all the other things they're doing, and their crazy quirks and stuff, I guess driving a car is no big deal. Hero name? Undecided. Quirk? Still? Explosion. That's an interesting arc to follow. I wonder when that's gonna happen. Yeah, you, you sort of deserve that. <laughs> Besides, I don't care if you were acting, or that you're an upperclassman. Villains have to be taught the a class lesson. collectively cringes. A skull in the clouds? An omen? We take our training very seriously. So that one day... Some of us take it too seriously. We'll be the greatest heroes. Sayonara. And new ending! It's the I see the theme of this ending is elevators. Very, like, low-key animation in both the intro and ending. It's sort of like groups of people walking. Or, like, shots of them walking. So last arc we had dancing and singing. This time do we get cooking? Grocery shopping. Cheese, of course! Why am I not surprised? Whose birthday is it? Ah, birthday party. Why is All Might's comic in the bushes? Okay. After credit scene! How do you feel, Endeavor? I mean, he, he pulled his major victory out, but his work is sort of just beginning in a way. You do know that's the victory Hawks kept them up. Guest. No, mine's different. He used his left arm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. Funny how Endeavor, in his way, is also like the ultimate All Might fan. There's so many different iterations of All Might fandom in the show. Nobody will forget that. Can't forget a moment Isn't like that. This precious. Something I else happened? Sure what to expect oh my god, fight. this is this was a day in Endeavor's life. Dobby seems to be stepping up in the villain rankings. You're late for our meeting. A meeting? A meeting between Hawks and Dobby? Seems more just like a first episode of the season intrigue builder to me. It's gonna turn out to be nothing. So I can't remember all of the start of season episodes, but I feel like this is one of the best ones so far because this actually just felt like a full episode. It definitely went to great lengths to reintroduce all the, the characters of UA, but there wasn't this really drawn out rehashing of past events, right? It was pretty much the exercise, which was entertaining enough. Like it had some real real heart and some, some really funny moments. Mirio being an obvious highlight. I'm trying to guess, maybe not exactly the trajectory of the season, but perhaps some of the focus of the season. And if I had to guess based on this episode, it seems like Endeavor is now going to be a bigger part of the show. Dobby seems to be being set up as a somewhat more independent villain, maybe not entirely aligned with the League of Villains. He's getting a lot of spotlight. He's also Fire Quirk, right? Am I getting that wrong? Todoroki and Bakugo seem to be trying to re-enter the spotlight since they've been sort of sidelined to do their, you know, the remedial classes. Deku's hesitancy was called into focus. In sort of contrast, I guess, with Bakugo's lack of hesitancy, that could definitely be a thing. Maybe themes of mercy or something like that. So fun stuff, and I'm very, very excited to get to the, the next episode where I feel like this season's actually gonna kick off. So yeah, season five has begun. I will see you next time when Deku goes to the moon.